Now, forget for a moment the horror scenes that we've all seen coming out of Alice Springs these past couple of weeks and turn your attention to Queensland and the regional centre of Toowoomba. Now, that city, and in fact, all of Queensland, is outraged that not more is being done around these issues of street crime. It's not just Toowoomba, by the way. I've heard stories out of places like Townsville as well. Joining me now is the Queensland Opposition Leader, David Crisafuli. Good to catch up with you again. You've got a 75-year-old uh, man, as I understand it, currently clinging to life in a Toowoomba hospital. Now, explain exactly what happened to him, David. What happened with it, to this man? He, he went to the shops to buy a gift for a loved one. He's waiting for a taxi. And two teenagers have allegedly come and clubbed him, knocked him unconscious to the ground. And then they're alleged to have stolen his backpack while he lay there bleeding. Now, if that doesn't tell you just how bad youth crime is in this state, nothing will. And Steve, a decision was taken in 2015 to water down the laws. One of the first things this government did when it came to office, it watered down the Youth Justice Act. And on the back of it, we've got a generation of repeat hardcore young offenders who know that their rights are greater than the rights of the victim. And time and time again, yeah, I mean, we have the... seen this leech through across the state. Well, the sad thing, David, is that the, those sort of changes to those laws are about to happen in places like Victoria as well. This is a shocking story. This man is only just clinging to life. You don't expect when you're 75 years old and all of the uh, what you've done for your country over the years to go to the shop and get clubbed from behind. It's just horrendous. I presume the Premier, Anastasia Palaszczuk, David, has rushed down to Toowoomba. She's meeting with the family and explaining how she's going to sort all this out. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Well, sadly, no. And she's resisted calls to do so. She's resisted calls to release changes to legislation that are going to go before the parliament at the end of this month. She's refused to recall parliament so we can debate them. And she's refusing to listen to the solutions that we're putting on the table. And uh, I've always been someone that my view about good oppositions are you point out where there are mistakes. And I spoke about the one to water down the law. But we also put forward our solutions on the table. And we want to see breach of bail as an offence. We want to have consequences for action in that Youth Justice Act. And today I did go to Toowoomba and I sat in a room with a dozen brave people who told me their stories about living in fear after having their homes ransacked, their cars stolen. They told me about the impacts on their bottom line, insurance premiums going up, not having a car for several months while it gets replaced. And I heard about the concern in the community uh, when a man is left bleeding, lying, dying uh, because of allegedly repeat young hardcore offenders. The act is broken, Steve, and it's broken right across the state and nothing short of wholesale change is going to change and the government has given up on listening. They view everything as a political problem rather than an issue affecting Queenslanders. Well, the nation's attention, as it should have been, has been on Alice Springs, but I, I'm sure you can tell me this is not just Toowoomba, is it, David? No. Uh, it, the first seeds were sown in a beautiful city in North Queensland called Townsville, and there was a, a real issue with youth crime, and that dated back over half a decade ago after these laws were changed. And that city were brave and it stood up and it called it out and the government didn't listen. And it has leached uh, like a bad poison throughout the state. West to the Isa, uh, in the communities in the, in the north, border towns like Gundawindi, um, north and south of Brisbane, the sunny coast, Gold Coast, every regional centre and the magnificent little communities in between. And communities are fed up, they've had enough. And if you want proof of how broken the system is, once upon a time these young kids, they'd hear a noise and at least they'd bolt. They're now carrying weapons. They are now posting about their exploits on social media, yeah, showing I mean, their face, counting money on the steering wheel of a stolen car while holding a knife. It's just it is shocking, broken. David. And the I Premier know, and it's lives just in a parallel all over universe. Again, and it's awful. Sadly, David, we've run out of time, but I really appreciate your time tonight.